Hi guys, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about getting everything in order before the season starts. And it's real important to uh, make sure everything is running smooth, check all your tires, uh, check your oil, your air filters, check everything out before the season starts. We got, most of us have some downtime right now, so it's important to kind of get everything in top notch shape, no pun intended, and you know, just, just make sure everything's in order. Uh, you know, I, I have a list right now that I have of things I want to get done before the season starts. You know, my list is pretty simple, you know, check oil, change oil, check all tires, air filters, uh, start everything up, make sure it's running good, make sure I have string, make sure I have extra oil, make, just make sure I have everything that I need uh, for the first few weeks of the season. That way, you know, you kind of get off to a good start, kind of get into a groove before, you know, you start running into, running into problems. And problems will come up, but you want to try to eliminate those problems in, you know, in the first few weeks and try to just kind of get everything going to where you're going pretty smooth. You know, one of my biggest things is I want to get my garage organized, get my garage cleaned up to where, you know, everything has a place. So I know where everything's at. And, uh, you know, that's something that I've been slacking on for a while now is just my garage and I'll kind of show you guys. As you can see, there's the uh, toolbox that I had in the back of my truck. So there's the drawers stacked up and there's the box there. Uh, yeah, there's a bike that I never ride and just, I mean, you can just see, I just got, I got crap just thrown everywhere. So, uh, you know, like I said, uh, there's some extra spray paint I had. And as you guys know, I am a diehard KU fan and a diehard Chiefs fan. So I don't really get into NBA that much, but used to be a big Bulls fan. Love Michael Jordan, still think he's the best player ever. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably, might disagree with me on that, but oh well. There's me back in my heyday. I was a baseball player. And uh, I think I was about 19, 18 or 19 in that picture. So, a little stud there, buddy. Anyway, uh, I just want to get my garage cleaned up. Get everything in order. I did a cleanup job earlier today, so. Uh, but for the most part, I don't have a whole lot going on, so I need to spend some time out here. I'm gonna probably do that today. Spend about an hour, see what I can get done. Anyway, guys, I uh, just kind of wanted to share with you guys kind of what's going on, and uh, give you guys a little idea of what I'm doing. And you know, like I said, it's just it's real important to get all your stuff. Uh, ready for the season get everything running smooth get everything oiled up greased up tires checked any any plugs you need to put in do that so that way you know you just you have a good start at the season all right guys i'm cleaning the garage and i came across some stuff that you're, you're going to think is really really funny <laughs> i know some of you guys are probably too young don't even know what cassette tapes are but i found some man they're oh my god i couldn't stop laughing All right, that is cassette tape. <laughs> All right, guys, look, if you've never heard of Roy D. Mercer, go check that out. That's pretty damn funny. All right, so how many of you guys did like I did and had your, uh, had your blank tape in the cassette in the recorder and waiting for all, you wait all day for that, uh, for that station to play that one song you wanted to record? Oh, that was good times. Oh. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Can't go wrong with good vibrations. A little Snoop Dogg. Oh, Paul Abdul. <laughs> I don't, half of these aren't even mine. I don't even know where they came from, but that's funny. Whew. Look how old that thing is. That's a young Garth Brooks there. There's another one. Yeah. That's pretty damn funny. 